Caffeine citrate is a medication used for the short-term treatment of a breathing problem, apnea, in premature infants. It works by blocking certain proteins, adenosine receptors, which helps to improve the breathing in these infants. It is important to follow the dosage instructions provided by your healthcare provider. The optimal timing for taking this medication should also be discussed with your healthcare provider. You should always read the patient information leaflet before giving this medication to your infant. This medication is usually given once daily by mouth or through a feeding tube as directed by the doctor. The dosage is based on your infant's weight, medical conditions, and response to therapy. Make sure to carefully measure each dose with the provided dosing syringe. Before using, always check the product for any particles or discoloration and do not use the liquid if either is present. Since this product does not contain preservatives, you should discard any unused medicine after preparing the dose for your infant. It's important to use this medication regularly at the same time each day to get the most benefit from it. If your infant's condition lasts or gets worse, be sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist. Some common side effects of caffeine citrate include nausea, vomiting, stomach upset, headache, trouble sleeping, restlessness, poor feeding, increased urination, rash, or dry skin. If any of these effects persist or worsen, notify your doctor or pharmacist. Remember, this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to contact your doctor immediately if you or your infant experience any serious side effects, such as vision changes or symptoms of a serious stomach condition, necrotizing enterocolitis, in infants, including lethargy, severe vomiting, abdominal bloating, or bloody stool. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help right away if you notice any symptoms such as rash, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed. If you are in the US, you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you may report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before giving your infant caffeine citrate, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies your infant may have. It's important to discuss any inactive ingredients in the product that could potentially cause allergic reactions or other issues. Prior to using this medication, it's crucial to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your infant's medical history, especially if they have heart disease, kidney disease, liver disease, or stomach problems such as peptic ulcers or necrotizing enterocolitis. It's also important to mention if your infant has a history of seizures. Infants may be more sensitive to the side effects of caffeine citrate, particularly the stimulant effects such as trouble sleeping, restlessness, and nervousness. On the other hand, older adults may also be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially trouble sleeping. If you are pregnant, it's important to discuss the risks and benefits of using this medication with your doctor to determine if it is necessary. Additionally, if you are breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using caffeine citrate as it can pass into breast milk and may have undesirable effects on your nursing infant. When taking caffeine citrate, it's important to be mindful of potential interactions with other medications. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. Some products that may interact with caffeine citrate include adenosine, cimetidine, dipyridamol, fluvoxamine, lithium, theophylline, and vemurafenib. Keeping a list of all the products you use and sharing it with your healthcare professionals can help ensure your safety and well-being. If someone has taken too much caffeine citrate and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek medical help immediately. In the U.S., you can call 911 or contact your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include stomach pain, anxiety, agitation, confusion, irregular or fast heartbeat, frequent urination, muscle twitching, ringing in the ears, trouble sleeping, and seizures. Always seek medical help if you or someone else has taken too much caffeine citrate.
it is important not to share this medication with others. While your infant is taking this medication, it is important to have lab and or medical tests done, such as caffeine levels and blood sugars. It is important to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose of caffeine citrate, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to store caffeine citrate at room temperature and keep it out of the reach of children and pets. You should not flush this medication down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. When the product expires or is no longer needed, make sure to properly dispose of it. If you have any questions about how to dispose of caffeine citrate, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.